Like, I wish I would have been like, that is so unprofessional, and it's not what I'm asking. Like, they thought I was a druggie trying to get an appointment to get pain meds. <laughs> They'll send an offer, and Poshmark will be like, you'll be charged $3. <laughs> Did you just eat a kitty treat? Are you kidding? Welcome to my pantry and you will hear Asher yelling in the background because it's been half an hour now and he's not asleep. What's new? Nothing. Um, we are doing some orders. I have three night court bookmarks to pack up. One person bought two of them and then one person bought one. So we're going to do that. Hopefully he falls asleep while we're doing this. Otherwise, Mama will have another non-nap day. Um, I'm in pain. I am in so much pain. My hand, I know I've come, I'm pretty positive I've complained about this, but my hand, my elbows, both of them, um, my like upper arm, my actually my entire right arm, my knees, they're all, they're throbbing. It's in so much pain and I'm positive it's because we've been scraping and painting the exterior of the house. And it is, like, it's made me incapable of making bookmarks. Um, so that's been not great. And I can't get it to, by the time, like, it's in recovery, I heard it again because I'm back at it. So, honestly, we have not had many orders, like, one a day. Um, I've had two today. So I haven't had to make a lot of stuff. So it's not a huge deal. It's just like in general, it's painful. Like when I go to the gym, I can't do much because I'm in pain. I'm like, I really feel like I shouldn't be working this harder now. I'm in my painting um, scraping gear. So that's, I'm gonna do that right after. Um, Right, let's get into this. So like I said, we have two orders. One is for Kathy from Illinois and she, Got the one bookmark, and the other is from Grace in Michigan, who got two of them. It is seeming so I'm gonna have to get Asher up after zero nap time because at this point like it's been at this point 40 minutes um, it's it's pretty rare for him to actually sleep and he's crying now not just like making noises and grumbling so that's gonna be um, no work time for mama apparently which sucks but it happens I didn't show you the stickers. I have an absurd amount of corgis in this sticker order. Um, just like real quick pulling one out. This is corgi vibes. There are a ton of corgi stickers in that last pack, which I love. I love corgis. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go get him. <laughs> Wanna say hi? Yeah, say hi. You're waving. No nap today. <laughs> So I haven't picked the camera up in like five days, four days, five days now. 
and I still don't understand how it happened, but it has happened and I have a job now. Um, so <laughs> I am grateful. I was not looking for it though. I did not even apply for it actually. <laughs> um, and I can't say no to people, but also like realistically I needed one, you know, um, I wasn't going to plan on, on getting one until next, like not this upcoming school year, but the next school year. But I am also someone that's like, sometimes things are meant to be. And I feel like this was one of them because like, oh, hopefully you can't see him. I have him right now um, in his diapy because I'm waiting for him to go pee so I can put, I just took his PJs off um, so we can go to the Y. And I haven't put his like normal outfit on. Anyways, um, back to what I was saying. Point is, I am going back to school counseling and that starts in August and it's making, it breaks my heart a little bit because obviously I'm not gonna be a stay-at-home mom with Asher anymore and I have to like release that control of, uh, like I know he's safe with me, as safe as he can be, uh, being a toddler and reckless. And I'm gonna have to give that to someone else now and that's very scary. That's happening. I'm gonna have to go back to days when, uh, back in, what have been like 2014 ish, I had three jobs and I did YouTube like full time. I was doing like pumping out videos. It's when like I was getting like gaining a ton of subscribers. Go eat your muffins. Go eat your muffins. So I know I can still make this work. Um, and I know I can still make markets work. The only thing that's gonna have to change is I can no longer apply to as many three-day markets as I want. I'm gonna need to have Fridays for counseling and then have weekends for markets. And so I'm obviously gonna do my best to finish out the schedule I have right now with markets um, and hope that I can get off on a few of those Fridays that I have markets for, but we're gonna have to see, I'm gonna have to play it by ear. I still need to talk to them about, I think I only have two or three Fridays. I would need to do half days on, which shouldn't be a big deal, but we'll see. I don't know what's going on with this hair. I keep trying to like put water on it to tame it down. I think I'm gonna have to slick it back. <laughs> You're still gonna get studio vlogs. You're still gonna get like the same stuff. I'm just gonna have to time manage everything. <sighs> I've done it before, I can do it again. So nothing from your point of view should change. Um, I just might look a little more tired. Anyways, I just wanted to give you that update. Um, what we have planned today is I need to pack up Delaney's order from Etsy. And it was it didn't say it was a share and save, but I could have sworn I've shipped her something before. So she might have been originally a TikTok order potentially and then now on Etsy because I didn't say second time but I'm like I can remember names and I can remember locations pretty well. I also have a Delaney that's um, always on YouTube and my TikTok and like liking things and but she spells her name IE so I know it's not that one but I think I still know this Delaney. I have a couple of Delaney's on here. So we have to pack up her order. She ordered two bookmarks. Um, it's been slow. At this point, I think the TikTok video has ceased to bring me orders because I've had zero orders in like two days now, three days maybe even, I'm not sure. Um, so we rewrote it and it was, it was really good while it lasted. I also have a rash completely up my arms. I had a swollen eye yesterday and so, um, yeah, the interview I did yesterday and accepted the job yesterday. I had a swollen eye, so I wore glasses there. I know I looked a mess. Um, I also didn't have any shoes to wear, so I wore sandals, and I don't think that's professional. I know it's not, but it is what it is. When I had Asher, my feet went from a size 9 to a size 10, and now I uh, am slowly getting rid of shoes and not replacing them. Yes, we need to work on that between now and mid-August. <sighs> Gotta go to the gym and I'll see you later. Goodbye.
just got Asher down. Happy Thursday. I don't, okay, I say I just got him down. He's been down for an hour. I think he just fell asleep though. That's what I meant to say. This child has not slept, like nap-wise, in days. And I thought I heard something coming from his room other than him just like talking to himself, which is what he's been doing for just hours instead of napping. And I was getting closer. I was like, that's not, that's not an Asher talking. That is an animal singing. And I checked the camera, because like obviously if I open the door, he's just gonna like immediately get up and one out. And he is reaching through his crib and is managing to press the button on his sloth and penguin linkamoles. No wonder he has not been sleeping for days. I don't know how I didn't hear that before now, but I am positive he's been playing like the last two days and that is what's going on. So I went in his room and I removed the linkamoles and he was very angry, but he immediately, like when I left the room, stopped yelling and started talking again. So, but now he's not talking, which means I'm pretty sure he's sleeping. He still might not be. Other than that, I went to the gym. I actually went to the gym this morning. It is afternoon. It's like 2.30 right now. And normally Asher's good there. But the thing with like childcare at the gyms are they give you, typically, in my experience, they give you a certain amount of time your child can be whiny and annoying, right? Until they're like, you gotta take them home. <laughs> and Asher surpassed that amount of time today. And so I oh got five minutes in, which sucked. But it's summertime, so Randy and his football kiddos, he's a teacher, so like he has summer break, but he doesn't because he's a football coach and like he has all summer lifting and practices. But um, in June, it's just lifting. So it's shorter, so Randy gets home like noon to one normally. And um, yeah, I went to the gym when he got home. So I did get a workout in, it just took a little bit. But what we need to do right now, before Randy gets home and yells at me for not painting, because he has just been making me do manual labor every single day for the last like two weeks. Cause I think I told you guys this, maybe I didn't. All I wanted to do, all I wanted to do was a quick, light little fresh up of paint in one little section of the house, okay? We color matched it and it just was not the right color. Like, I don't think it's possible to color match something unless you know what the color is and we didn't because it's the last owner that did it probably like 10 years ago. And, um, and while color matching technology is great and everything, it is not exact. And so we have the wrong shade of um, house color in a certain section until I realized I couldn't even reach half of it. But okay, point is, long story short, we've been painting and it's taking forever because you have to scrape, you have to power wash, you have to um, caulk it, you have to just, you know, the painting itself is hard. It's just annoying and it's taking so long. And he's been he wants to do the whole house now so it's not just one section anymore it was in my mind it's like it's a day, day job that's it um this is turning into an all summer job and the better news hobby lobby finally <laughs> shipped my jump rings i've been completely out of stuff to make bookmarks for two weeks now and if you're gonna order from hobby lobby just know it's gonna take two weeks for them to get it to you but I bought a lot, so hopefully I won't run out. And by the time I run out, hopefully they have them back in stock in the store near me. We need to pack up a Poshmark order. I need to find what I did with the thing that they ordered. I keep all my Poshmark stuff in one section. Oh, and I didn't have it there, so that's why I can't find it. I have not sold anything on Poshmark in like a year. I used to sell all the time, every day, every other day, multiple packages. Whenever I listed something, I would sell it. And I just can't sell a single thing anymore. People want it for negative dollars. I, we've had this rant before, it's very annoying. I'm also that person, I wanna buy stuff real cheap. I have my stuff real cheap though, that's the thing. Like people can offer, but like make it so, like people literally offer, <laughs> they'll send an offer and Poshmark will be like, you'll be charged $3 for this. It's so annoying. Anything under $5, 
you have to pay to give it to someone. And so like, no, no, I will never accept an offer under $5 because that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I will donate it before I pay someone to take it. Um, but someone bought this Lululemon um, crop long sleeve. It has a really pretty cut out keyhole for $15. Really good deal on Lulu. Love that for them. Hope they love it. Very comfy. I don't like it because it's just a little too crop for my taste and it's too big. This is a size 10, um, which normally would be fine, except um, it's just like my, I don't, and my boobs and this, it was just too loose. So we're gonna wrap this up in a little bit of tissue paper. Actually, let me wrap it in here. So I'm gonna take it to the blue box. have a small stash of USPS mailers just for Poshmark because they use USPS um, priority mail. That is important to note. It is priority mail. Um, so you can use their stuff in there. Whereas um, for Etsy, sometimes on my, um, most of the time on my bookmarks, it's just ground mail. And so like I can't use their packaging for that. If you want, I can show you what else I listed on Poshmark because why not? Favorite noise. And this is going to Louisiana. Okay, what we currently have on Poshmark, two wedding dresses. Are you interested? I had a problem when I was deciding what dress to get. I got multiple dresses and I don't need three wedding dresses because I just wore the one. Um, and so if you want a wedding dress for cheap, offer, send me an offer. I will give it to you. Um, what do I have? Okay, just go to my Poshmark. Um, I will have it linked below. but what's in front of me that I listed. I listed, oh, this makes me really sad because this is so cute. This pup and petal romper. It's a floral daisy retro blue romper. It's in a size large. You need to be a large or extra large for this. Um, I didn't realize how oversized it was gonna be because normally I was like, because in my mind, I'm a medium. And I was like, I don't want it to be like fitted. And so let's get a large just to make sure. I have a long torso. Um, let's make sure it fits in my vagina area, you know, and like other areas too, obviously. I don't, <laughs> what do you do if someone told you they size up because of their vagina? That's not the case. Um, I guess it is in this case, but yeah, it was huge. It was huge and baggy and I need, um, small to medium in this brand. So large to extra large will fit in this large, like do not size up is what I'm trying to say. Be true to size or a little big is what this is. So, it's so pretty. It's still on their website, brand new. I have a list of $20 less than what they have it listed as. Um, although you can't get that in a large anymore, that is sold out. And then I have by Joa Brown. Did I say it was $40? I have $48 is so what I have that as on Poshmark. And then from Joa Brown, I think I told you guys last time I wore this, I was like, I'm selling this because every time I wear it, I'm just like uncomfy because it's just a tiny. So, like, you know how the, the, so this is cropped, but like the, this tank here would go up maybe like half an inch more so we're saying goodbye to it it has like a um bustier kind of look to it it's called the bustier cami it's very comfy it's thick like you don't if you don't want to wear a bra you don't have to it is double lined here i never usually wear a bra with it sometimes i did but mostly i did not um yeah she is a cutie i love joe brown so i think i have this listed for 20 and then and i think i was originally like 68 ish dollars from lululemon i have this um sports bra she's very cute she's very low cut she's very strappy very 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 cute used to love it used to love wearing her but now it's just like i don't know it's just maybe the season i'm in and being a mom and like you want things that like your child's not just gonna like flash <laughs> your boobs out in public um which is a thing like it is a thing so I am saying goodbye to her. Um, she's a size eight and she will make someone very happy. I wanna say I have her for $20 on Poshmark, maybe 19, I'm not sure. Um, oh, I don't have this listed yet. So 
yeah, the rest I'm still I'm still listing things, but that's what I have listed right now. I had only put four up, which is <laughs> was already draining in itself. So there will be more, and I'll show you them as I put them up. Um, all right. I also I also did get something from someone on Poshmark. So like sometimes you come across. I don't know if you're like this, but like if I like something, I'll be like, okay, what else do they have? Like let it, let me make it worth my time and creating a bundle and hopefully getting a discount and like getting more than one item because you have to pay like eight dollars in shipping. And so I came across this person. I'm blanking on her name, but she had like my dream closet. It was all Lululemon in all my size. <laughs> So clearly we're the same size and we have the same style and this woman's rich or some it has to be because she has so much Lululemon in her closet, right? And it's like, you could tell people that are resellers versus someone that like that was in their closet and they're just done with it. And this person just had a lot of Lululemon. <laughs> so what I got from her in a bundle <laughs> is this Tidewater Teal. Um, it's called the Kate's Tea. Very lightweight, cute, love the color. Um, and then I got the same color Tidewater Teal in a line of leggings, 25 inch. I think that's 25. It should be, right? I have on a line leggings right now, I'm just trying to looks to be <laughs> and then the same color brand new with tags in this jacket this is going to be the cutest little outfit i'm gonna wear all three together but monochromatic it's gonna be gorgeous and then i was like i had i had it in a bundle and i was like adding things and deleting things and like trying to make it make sense and like price and like what i was offering and I was like, well, Randy's gonna get upset if like I get a bag of um, Lululemon at the door. And I was like, wait. And I messaged her, because there were a few things in her closet that were um, Lululemon and men's in his size. And I was like, um, do you have anything in an XL? Cause like what I had in my bag, she had actually already sold on a different site. And so she messaged me saying like, Hey, I don't have this anymore. I had to delete it from your bundle. And I was like, do you have anything else in XL mint? And like, she didn't have anything on her profile, but she was like, let me go look in my closet. And, um, and she, I'm hoping her husband, boyfriend, whatever partner, didn't want it anymore but she's like i'm gonna list real quick a shirt in an xl and if you like it go ahead and add it and she did and it's perfect <laughs> so um i got him i'm gonna give it to one father's day this lululemon button down it's it's stretchy which is awesome because he is he's muscular and a lot of times like shirts just aren't comfy because they're like too tight in their shoulders and so like the stretch is gonna be helpful here and I didn't even realize because she didn't know what color it was and she didn't list the color. Like how cute. This is all going to match. Like not that he's ever going to wear this when I'm wearing this, but she's probably like, wow, this girl loves the color green. I love it. It's so nice. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. Really, really excited about my jump rings though. <laughs> um, right, that's all I need to tell you guys. I need to go put pink clothes on. And paint so I'll see you when I'll see you probably building bookmarks because we need to we have a week until our next market and so we got to just pump them out now that we have the supplies so thank you all for being here and I'll see you soon welcome friends I thought we had speech today but I forgot the speech therapist is on vacation and so that's fine I did miss a day of working out because of not remembering that no big deal um I actually might still be able to go later if I want to usually Fridays I take off though uh, what we're doing right now is shipping things because yes you guessed it I think you know this angle by now you're in the pantry next to the kitty treats actually kitty is right here I'm wondering if he thinks he's gonna get a treat I guess you've not been a good boy but you are always a good boy, even when you're naughty.
from we're printing off we have two shipments one from etsy one from tiktok tiktok has been very slow etsy has been it's normal slow um hey kitty this one is going to kelly in florida she ordered a charm necklace and then i have a sophie cherry bookmark will you just like remove yourself please thank you a sophie cherry bookmark going to rachel in new jersey i almost said florida again i also have an ash bear over here um, with the vacuum that did run out of battery so he just had a meltdown but he's better now because i just took the top part off to charge it and he has the bottom part now um, and yes, I did give him the real vacuum again, and that is a mistake. Do not do that. Do not ever let them try the real vacuum. Um, they will love it. So, I have a shipping station now. I have not showed it to you guys, and by shipping station, it's just what I used for when I was breastfeeding him. I had a little cart next to the chair with like, you know, the different essentials that I probably didn't need it for. Like someone I was on probably TikTok or YouTube or something, they were like, you need a breastfeeding car and you need to put snacks in it and towels and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> I did use it though. I didn't use it for like, like I did have, like before I had him, I had it set up like a snack station and like things I just did not need it for. The only thing I used it for is um just as like a side table essentially because next to the chair i didn't have one so if you are un gonna be a new mama and you see something like that like yes it's convenient to have something next to your chair to set like your breast pump on if you're doing well that's obviously it's a breast pumping like that's what you're doing it for um you don't need like all these things i, I truly only use it to house my breast pump and towels because you just trust me you need towels <laughs> like washcloths you know things to wipe things with milk things to wipe milk with off you off baby um all that would you just like not do that thank you now we have to re-roll this i do need to go to urgent care today um for nothing or well urgent yes i need um i definitely have a uti i woke up with that and i still don't have a primary doctor which like um, again, do as I say, don't do as I do. You need one of those. I mean, I know I need one of those. I have not been to the doctor. I don't know the last time I went to the doctor. <laughs> I just have like such bad experiences with primary care providers. <laughs> I've been to an OGBY, OGBYN. The last time I went was like for his birth. So like, yeah, I need one. I need a OB and I need a doctor um just like a normal one but yeah they make me mad like i know i've told you guys this before but like the last time i went to the doctor i had done the um i had so when i used to get video views um people would send me stuff and like i would do sponsorships sometimes not really i don't like doing sponsorships because like i hate having someone give money and like me not knowing how a video is going to perform even though i would get views beforehand but like i don't know what they were expecting you know what i mean i just don't like doing that and even if right now i were at like a lot of views like i used to be i still probably would not do them because um it stresses me out but when people send free stuff that um it's clear like no strings attached you don't even have to show it like i love doing those because i'm like okay i can actually like test something out and review it and um not feel bad if it doesn't get like a hundred thousand views or something you know what i mean so anyways i had a test sent to me a fertility test i had turned 30. i i think i was i think randy and i had been like dating for like eight months by then and i had told him i was like hey like don't be weirded out but like this fertility company wants to send me a test that um just goes over all your hormone levels and sees like kind of where you're at with like um amount of eggs etc i'm 30 i'm like randy and i had already had plenty of discussion of um he really wanted kids someday i was still on the fence at that point um but i wanted to see like where i was at and like hormone levels because <laughs> i have like you know a lot of body hair um beards etc 
and I wanted to know like how much testosterone I had like surging through my body because like at one point I did a test um, with the doctor years years before and I had a surplus of testosterone I'm like that makes sense um so yeah I did this test and so the test came back that I um should go consult a doctor because I had a lot of prolactin I think that's what it was pretty sure that's what it was in my body and that's when you have um it could mean it could mean nothing or it could mean that um you're breastfeeding and <laughs> x that off I was not because I had never had a kid or it could mean you have a little um tumor in your brain so like go see a doctor um and I went and saw my doctor and you know what she she oh I didn't go back I didn't go back afterwards because she made me feel so like icky and um i just need to explain the situation so i went there and i was like i need um she, they asked like what are you here for i'm like well just like my yearly i've been a couple years since then um routine i needed blood work done because i i ch like check my blood work make sure every like levels are good um my dad passed away when i was younger from a heart attack and so like i would always yearly go and get like lab tests just chest checking over things um at this stage in life, it's just checking a lot of things. So it's not like, I don't think they're really looking into heart disease right now. So, well, I mean, they probably always are. Um, and I was like, and I also did a fertility test and I said I had um, an excess of prolactin, whatever it was, uh, in my system. So if we could just like check on those levels and make sure it's nothing to be concerned about, that would be amazing. And this lady, said, um, are you trying to get pregnant? Like, in like such a judgmental way. And I was like, it's like, no, but I did this test just to check cause I'm, you know, getting older <laughs> to see where my levels were. And this is, it said, they specifically said, go to a doctor and um, just like get your levels checked again. And she was like, well, are you dating anyone? And I was like, yeah, well, yeah I have a boyfriend. Like it still does not, like it doesn't matter. That, my life does not matter. I'm asking you to check this. Do you know what she said to me? She said, well, does he know that you're checking and doing these tests? I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I wish so bad. I still revisit this experience over and over in my head of being like, I wish I would have been like, that is so unprofessional and it's not what I'm asking. And I like, but like, I'm so not confrontational. I did not correct her. Like, I just like, it's gives, it still gives me like an ick feeling of that whole, whole thing. Um, Ugh, it still makes me mad. It still makes sense. I went home and told Randy that and he like since then he was like, well, did you tell your boyfriend? Like when I whenever like I do anything that's um, whatever. So yeah, that experience made me not want to go back. Aside from that, like a year prior to that, I had had my first, maybe it was a couple years actually prior to that, I had had my first spell of vertigo. And if you have ever had vertigo, the first time you have it, you truly think you're dying. Like I was like, I definitely have a brain bleed because I like everything is spinning. You can't stand up. Like you can't, you just can't do anything. Like when it's in the thick of the vertigo, <laughs> you cannot function. And so I went to the hospital. The first time I had vertigo, I went to the hospital because I'm like, I definitely have a brain bleed. They obviously detest. I did not have a brain bleed. And um, and they're like, you need to, they gave me medicine. They're like, you should um, follow up with your physician to uh, like, I forget. I think get more medicine for just like dizziness or whatever. Um, and I called and I'm still in the thick of it, right? I had just gotten back from the hospital. I am so tired. I'm just laying on the couch in a dark room because I can't like open the blinds because it makes it worse. And I get on the phone and I know like, I know I sound in their, def in their defense. They don't have, they shouldn't even have defense. I know I sounded like I was strung out. I know it because as I was talking and I was on meds, the hospital gave me two different meds. Um, I don't even remember what they were something with a T maybe I don't know it doesn't matter but like anti-dizziness meds and everything was slowed 
And so I was talking slow. And do you know what they did when I was on the phone trying to explain they had just gotten back from the hospital and that I was having um, what I think is vertigo um, and what they said they think is vertigo. Um, they said, just so you know, and like in the nastiest tone, just so you know, we don't give pain medicine out here. Um, and I'm just like, like they thought I was a druggie trying to get an appointment to get pain meds. I am an established patient. I have never in my life asked for pain medicine. When I go to the hospital, I specifically request not to be put on the hard stuff. When I had my C-section, I pushed that for two days. It, have you ever had a C-section? It is painful. And I push off being like, I can do it with just Tylenol. Um, and uh, clearly once all of the numbing wore off from the spinal tap, um, I needed the pain meds, but I'm like, I don't want to get addicted. I had two friends and both their dads got addicted to painkillers after a surgery and it just scares me um, because they're both still addicts and um, it's, it's easy. It's easy to get addicted. So like, but like, I've never asked for medicine from anyone. Like I always go about like, what can I do without medicine? It's just an internal fear. So anyways, um, that experience already had me hating this doctor's office, even though it's like really just like one to two, it's like two people, right? Um, but they made me, both times made me feel like shit. So, uh, long story short, I don't love going to the doctor. And really what that means is I just need to find a better doctor's office that I, I like. And I'm not like, a, I'm not a hard person to please here, you know? <sighs> Where was I going with any of this? I don't remember. Oh, I need to go to urgent care because I don't have a doctor and it's not urgent, but I have a UTI and I need medicine for it because that is one thing I pushed off one time, a UTI visit and it got so bad that the infection traveled up into my kidneys and I was bleeding blood and you know, and they were like, don't ever do that again. Um, and in that moment, I deserve to feel dumb because that was dumb. So. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, find yourself a good doctor. Don't let bad ones ruin your experience. Is getting there. Although that doctor that made me feel like crap about my fertility um, is no longer there. I actually last year got a phone call saying that she left the practice and that they were reassigning me doctors. So I could go back. I still had that bad experience on the phone though. I just need to let it go. I'm clearly holding on to resentment. Um, all right, so we're gonna do Sophie first. Hi. Ready? Um, yesterday I did a full tray of uh, <laughs> night court bookmarks. My hand, oh my gosh, it's still in such pain. I don't know if I told you guys this. So like we've been painting the exterior, and I think it's because like of the brush, like holding onto the brush and the strokes. My hand has been in constant pain. And so doing bookmarks, like I can barely grasp, like my pincher grasp is almost non-existent. And so it's difficult. So I don't know if I'm gonna do much. I just have that market next weekend. And so like, I do wanna get some done, but I don't think I'm gonna like push myself. I normally try to do 10 at a time, but I think it's okay just to do a couple here and there, just while I'm uh, recovering. And I don't think recovery. I now have another cat here, so bear with us. Um, we have an olive bear. It's the cat treats. I need, I forgot, I need to give them treats. Okay, kitties. Come on. Do you see? Do you see? Come on. Yep. We still have a lot to paint though, so I don't know when this will end. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking because I keep going on really long rants about, um, I'm sure nothing you wanna hear. <laughs> I'm also wearing this onesie from Dick's Sporting Goods. I don't think you can see it. Um, did you just eat a kitty treat? Are you kidding? Ew, buddy. That's gross. Here, come on, let's wash your face. You would think I do not feed this child, and I do. Way too much. 
If you're out of treats, that's all you get, sir. You want this? Yeah. I know. If you could just also remove yourself again. There you go. Will you stop? Go, go, go. Get off the counter. Get off. Corgis and coffee and a flower. And a packed on YouTube. Thank you, Rachel. Next we have TikTok order for the charm necklace, which is weirdly the only place that the charms sell other than markets. <laughs> didn't even have like a video like perform crazy well or anything. And so here she is, she's so cute. Butterfly and a paper plane, very fitting. And then Kelly is also getting a pecked on YouTube sticker. Awesome. Make sure I just got an Etsy notification, but it's just usually a lot of favorites. And yes, it is a favorite. But FYI, I know I've said this before, if you favorite something on my Etsy, you do get a coupon sent to your like email or your Etsy account within 24 hours, I'm pretty sure. So I think it's like 15 or 10% off, something of that nature. It is a percentage off though. Oh, let me show you my outfit. <laughs> it does not look cute, but it was only $17 from 108 and it's from Kalia, which is Dick's, uh, Dick's Sporting Goods line. Um, yeah, I got a medium. It runs loose, so like it's lined up here, but it's not like really fitted on me. I, I wish up here were small, but I like the looseness of the shorts. So I was like, I'm not gonna return it. I'm just gonna keep a medium. I don't think it, but like I said, I don't think it looks cute. I think I look like a wrestler in it. Like I can't just wrap my head around this because this is what wrestlers wore in my high school at least. I don't know if they still wear singlets. I'm pretty sure they do. Um, but it looks cute when I have a little button down, like open with it. Or I think if I also just put like a t-shirt over it, I would like that too. So it's very, very comfy. Um, and it was $17. So actually Randy opened it in the mail and there was no like envelope saying like a receipt saying how much I paid. It just had the $108 tag on it. And he was like, we were about to have a fight. And I was like, I would not spend that on anything other than Lululemon. <laughs> but like, I still wouldn't get Lululemon right now, um, full price, you know? Here's some of the night courts that I did. So I'm gonna head out. We're gonna go grocery shopping. I think Randy should be pulling in any second and I'll see you later. Hi, editing Brittany from the future. I don't want this to be longer than it already is. And so I'm ending the vlog here. I didn't end it in that clip. Like I think in my mind, I was like, we're gonna continue this. Um, we're not doing over an hour video. I just like, we're not doing that. Um, so thank you for watching. I will have another long video in the next one. So subscribe if you're not already and I will see you then. Bye.